want to do winter bud assessments of dormant cane tissue from the vineyard, you want to go out and collect whole canes. Make sure you take your pruners and collect the whole canes. And oftentimes you have shoots that are rather long and you'll want to cut those in half so that you have at least a better way to manage those shoots. A lot of times I like to look at both the basal and the apical portions of the shoot so that I can make an estimation of what the bud damage may be based on the age or the location of the buds. The basal part of the shoot is most important because of pruning decisions. If you're spur pruning, the first several buds might be the most important buds to look at. If you're cane pruning, you may want to look at the first nine, maybe to the first 15 buds, depending on your spacing and the size of the canes that you lay down. So doing your bud assessments here is most critical. If you find damage here, you more than likely are going to have damage on your apical portions too. However, if you don't find any damage, you may not have any damage in the, um, you may still have some damage in the apical portions. And I often tell people that they can try to do some basal and then also apical just to see if they did receive any damage. One other thing I want to point out is, you can see on these shoots, these are from vigorous vines, we have remnants of lateral shoots here. These you might want to remove as you start to do your bud assessments to make it a little bit easier to work with your cane tissue. Once you're actually ready to do your winter bud assessments, you need to have your cane tissue, a pruners, a sharp razor blade, and a magnifying loop or a dissecting microscope. First thing you'll want to do is make sure that your tools that you're using are clean. Oftentimes our pruning shears tend to get some black residue on it from harvest or other operations in the vineyard. So you want to clean that just so that any black discoloration you see is not necessarily from your pruning shears. The other is to make sure that you have a clean or brand new razor blade for the same reason, so that it's sharp so you can cut through, but also so that you don't have any residue on there that could discolor the tissues that you are looking at. So when you start looking at the bud tissue, you want to make sure that you remove any laterals or tendrils that might get in your way. I've already cut off some of the lateral pieces. Here's an example of a remnant of a lateral shoot. You can actually cut into the buds if you want to see. Um, their buds are just a bit smaller, but you, I cut those off on the basal portion here. And one of the things when you start doing this, you want to make sure that you use safety precautions. Always make sure that you're cutting your buds away from your body and you're holding the shoot close and you're cutting away. So you don't have your hands up here and cutting, you put them back here. So here's my node I want to work with. I put my hand right here, my hand that's holding the razor blade. I can angle the shoot. You want to angle it this way in part because all of the buds are angling somewhat up and, and slanted. And you want to make sure that you cut through at just the right angle. I'll come in for a close-up for you to see a little bit closer. So we have our cane tissue ready to do our first bud assessment. And I've got the, the cane laid here on the table for you to be able to see this, but it's probably not the easiest way to, to look at the buds. It's actually easier to hold it like I showed you previously. And what I want to do is I want to come in with my razor blade at an angle. I'm working at this angle because the top of the, sh the bud is actually pointed this direction. And we want to cut through the midway area between the tip here and the base of the bud. But we don't start in the center. We actually start a little bit above the center and we work our way through just to make sure that we're not cutting too deeply into that shoot or into that bud. So I see now I did my first cut and I can't quite see the three different parts so I'll take another slice and I take a very thin slice below it. And sometimes you have to clear away some of the bud hairs. It, they tend to be pretty fuzzy to be able to see the different parts of the bud. And now I can see I'm pretty much down to the point where I need to be. 
I can start to see multiple components of the bud and some of their uh, bud scales that are around it. And it's green at this point. Oftentimes it's easy to see uh, with help of a magnifying loop. This one I have actually has a light that actually helps me see a little bit closer what may be going on in that bud. And it looks like it's completely healthy. So I go to the next bud. And one of the things you can do is if you need a surface to hold on to, you can oftentimes cut part of your cane, but I'm okay at this point. Here's my next bud. I'm going to go in at a slightly different angle. You'll usually have to flip your cane because of the alternate positioning of the bud. I'm going to cut through my first. And my first shot is pretty good. I'll take another slice through. And I'm down to the point where I can see my primary, secondary, and tertiary. Oftentimes the primary is in the middle. The secondary is right next alongside it, and the tertiary is sometimes the most difficult to see. And that one is a, uh, actually pr very difficult to see. You can sometimes even have difficulty seeing it with a magnifying loop. In this case, the bud looks very healthy. All three parts are there and they're green. No discoloration. Um, if you have bud depth, there's going to be a brown discoloration if it has been dead for a while. It may be blackened in color. That's why we want to make sure our tools are clean because any blackness that we see might actually indicate cold damage and that shows up first before it becomes kind of a brownish, dry, or desiccated look. So I'm going to make another cut here on a bud and I'm coming in at a different angle in terms of what you're able to see. So I took my first cut, looks pretty good, I'm going to do one more thin slice and I'll take a look at it. And I can see the three different parts of the bud. I'll get my magnifying loop here to see what I am able to determine. And I can see the three different parts. Let's see if we can get you also to see the three different parts of the bud. If you can see that there, we actually have our primary, let's see if we can get there, primary, secondary, and tertiary, and they're all green. So that means we have a healthy bud.